Welcome back to Tech Tuesday. I am Steve Leahy. Today's Tech Tuesday, I want to up your eraser game. So this is something that I've been aware of for quite a while, but I realized that unless you know a draftsman, you might not be familiar with this little thing. So what we're talking about today is the eraser shield, and this is what it is. So let's get into it. I'll show you how I use this, and hopefully it'll help you out. Okay, so what I have is just a sheet of UPO paper here, and I sprayed it with Autoborn Sealer Gray, and then I put a little bit of black on here. So I have a little spider web that I, that I put on here, and I also have just an open field of black. So these eraser shields have been around for a really long time. Draftsmen have used these for forever, really, and they're designed to help you kind of control where you're erasing. We use eraser sometimes with airbrushing too, so it really works out well. And it's something you might not be too familiar with, but I figured I would show you. So what I have here is this little spider web. And the idea is, say you were painting, and here is the edge of what you were painting right here. And this is your smiley face that you were working on. And you got this big blowout on the side of it. This shield, if you kind of go at this thing with an eraser, I'll do it down here. You, you'll get an eraser line that will be kind of fuzzy a little bit along the edges. And if you're trying to really match that edge and not damage the paint you already put on here, like on the smiley face, that's what this guy is here for. And it has all these different little curves, just like a regular airbrush template. So what you do is you end up just lining up the template so it matches the curve that you want or the edge. And then you just erase inside the shape. What happens is it creates this really sharp eraser edge. So then you can go ahead and erase the rest of the damage like that. So now obviously I have a, the damage on the smiley face. I should have done it the other way, but you get the idea. So same thing down in here. Say I wanted just a really sharp edge along this. Oh, I would just use the shield to kind of block everything. And then I could just really erase aggressively. And when I pull this away, I have an extremely sharp edge here. And it works with, with all the corners. Say I wanted a rounded corner. Just kind of erase right along the edge of that. And it'll protect the area underneath like that. These are made usually made of stainless steel. Uh, I went online and looked and there's still a number of manufacturers that make them. So they are still available. You can probably even get them at, at a local art store like Hobby Lobby or Michael's. They probably have them on the shelf. These, if you take care of them, will last a very long time. In fact, this one here is my dad's and um, I don't know how old it is. It's got to be at least 50 years old. So if you take care of them, they last. They are real thin metal, so you do have to be careful with them. Essentially, when you're working with them, you always want to try to work with the edges of the eraser shield. You never want to, you never want to kind of rub against it or in a way that you'll you'll fold it because they are thin and you can bend it. You can see mine's got some some bends in it from just the decades of use that this thing has had. And again, all the little shapes are in here. They're really like nice and thin, the metal, so you can really kind of get right on it and it'll produce whatever shape you know you're looking for what would be really 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 nice and i know it's a lot to ask is to have eraser shields that are made like in the same shape of the airbrush shields because then you'd have every single shape imaginable but i haven't been able to find any other shapes other than just the standard shield that you can get for draftsmen so hopefully somewhere down the road maybe someone will produce a stainless steel airbrush shield as well and then you can go to town you can use these to do kind of the same thing but again you have to be really really super careful because the plastic doesn't have the same strength obviously as the stainless so it will work but you really do have to be careful especially on the little the little parts here if you try to use those as a shield or the erasure shield uh, it can it can get out of control in that you know you don't want to go the opposite way and then damage your your shield, which does happen if you're not careful. So that is the eraser shield. Super simple, really cool thing to have, inexpensive, and uh, you will never regret having it. All right. So for Steve Leahy and Tech Tuesday and his erasing shields, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks a lot.